everyone. Welcome to Monsoon Mike's Weather Balloon with me, Monsoon Mike, taking you on a journey through a little bit of weather education, a bit of weather history, and then the current weather for the next few days of your life. First, for the weather education segment. Well, I hate to tell you I told you so on this very first show of the new season. I'm normally not that egotistical, but well, heh, I told you so. One of my last shows of the last academic year was discussing how we were well overdue in this area for a hurricane. And hurricane, or two, we got. Well, not a full-blown hurricane like they get down south, but two very strong tropical systems that hit our area in the course of just a couple weeks, the final days of August and into the first days of September. First, we had Irene, who was a very dangerous storm out of the Atlantic, but fortunately lost steam as she headed north. The problem with her, however, was that she took a track closest to the coast that we've seen since way back in 1985 when Gloria made her trek up the coastline. The New Jersey shore prepared big time, evacuating people en masse. But funny thing was, as we know, these storms always have individual characteristics. Irene really didn't become known for tearing up the shore, thank goodness for the people down the shore, but rather for heavy rains and high winds far inland around our area, knocking out power in some rural parts of our county for over a week. Then we know sooner, sooner clean up from Irene than a little storm down in the Gulf of Mexico formed called Lee. The remnants of Lee wandered up the eastern seaboard, but instead of just plowing on through, something kind of unique happened, thanks or no thanks, to another tropical feature out in the Atlantic, a hurricane by the name of Katia, or Acadia, I've heard it pronounced five different ways, depending on who you talk to. Way out in the Atlantic, she caused an atmospheric block to set up of sorts, keeping Lee stalled just to our west over West Virginia for days on end hitting one narrow band of central Pennsylvania with historic rains not seen since Hurricane Agnes in 1972. Some areas around Bloomsburg, our sister school up there, Wilkes-Barre, Knoebel's Amusement Park, totally devastated with well over a foot of rain, and many of those areas will be cleaning up for months and even years. Total devastation up in areas that way. Had those heaviest rain bands set up just 50 miles east, Kutztown would have been under that water today. We were pretty lucky with both Irene and Lee, despite how bad we had it. Was all this late summer activity a sign of an active and fall and winter to come? Well, it could be. People keep asking me, but I don't like drawing analyses from such events like that to too much extent. Crazy things happen in the, in the atmosphere, and this was just our luck of the draw late this summer to have some activity up our way after many years with none. Like I said, we were long overdue. But hopefully we paid our price for now, and we'll get a few inactive summers in the years ahead. Now you know a little bit more about how the weather works. Up next, this date in weather history. Now time for the weather history segment, this date in weather history, one of my favorite little segments. Lots of interesting and wild things happened on this date in weather history. First, back in 1894, a chicken house was picked up by a tornado in the Midwest and lodged between two trees. The birds were found, here's the funny thing, the birds were found the next day casually sitting in their newly relocated tree house, sitting on their eggs, clucking away like nothing had ever happened. Then on this day in the 1938, the Great New England Hurricane of 38 hit on this day, devastating Long Island and most of New England. Wind gusts of 186 miles per hour were recorded in Massachusetts and a 30 feet storm surge in, in Rhode Island. Total casualties were 600 people and $500 million in damage, which by today's standards doesn't seem like much, but for 38 was huge. By the way, they really didn't name hurricanes back then, so the storm is often just referred to as the Great Hurricane of 1938. <clears throat> Fast forward to 1987 when Tropical Storm Emily shook up St. Vincent and destroying the Windward Islands, destroying many bananas in that banana industry area. Wow, can't lose our bananas. And two years later in 1989, another storm of history on this date, Hurricane Hugo, which prior to Andrew in 92 was one of the worst storms to hit the U.S. since the 60s. Hugo hit South Carolina with wind gusts of 138 miles per hour, killing 13 people, injuring 420, and relocating shrimp boats a half mile inland. 
Wow, losing bananas, losing shrimp, what next? That's what happened on this date over the years. Up next, your forecast for the next few days of your life. Look around campus, talk to students, meet professors. At Kutztown University, you'll see people learning to make a difference. Whether you live on campus or off, you'll find activities and clubs for personal enrichment, school spirit, or just plain fun. You can participate in sports or support the Golden Bear teams from the sidelines. You can stay healthy by visiting the state-of-the-art Student Recreation Center. KU's art, entertainment, and educational programs make the campus an exciting place to be. And now for the forecast for the next few days of your life. Unfortunately, a very unsettled weather pattern as a series of fronts that kind of stall over the area and then a low pressure system moves up the coast happens over the next few days. Expect Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to all be very similar days with more clouds than sunshine. Still can't rule out the chance of a little bit of sunshine each day, but mainly clouds will be the dominant force over the next few days. And any day can feature the chances of showers or storms, some of which could be heavy, especially on Friday. Temperatures will average in the mid-70s Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, cooling down a little bit to the upper 60s Saturday and Sunday. See you next week. Four, three, two. I'm J.R. Aquila. I graduated from Kutztown in 1982. Now I'm the event producer director here at Comcast Sportsnet Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Jim Bolden, and I graduated from the program in 1986. I'm now a business correspondent for CNN in London. Seven, Ten, six, five, four, three, two, one. This has been Monsoon Mike's Weather Balloon. Thanks so much for watching this week and reminding you to tune in again next time and join me here in my weather balloon.